Hey, welcome back. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to do something funky. And it's going to go back a little bit into our animation tutorials back in the day. If you don't know about them, go back in this playlist and revisit. I have, I think, three or four videos about animations in action. But today I want to show you how to do uh, kind of like a slides framework scrolling. And, you know, it, it could be that you use it for presentations or like a really funky portfolio or marketing site prototypes. And let me show you how it could work. In this case, um, this is a demo of Slides Framework, which is kind of like a famous HTML framework you could use for front-end uh, development and prototypes or whatever. So look it up if you want to. But what we're going to try to replicate in action is this behavior, where let's say you have a big full screen slide of some sort of impactful bold content and if let's say user scrolls down they are presented with another slide and if he scrolls up it's the same slide and then there's another slide and you know you have like a that type of smooth slide effect so the old slide goes up the other one fades in and you have like a really impactful type of messaging in the thing. You don't have to pay for this if you want to just prototype, you can just make it in action. And that's the best bit what I'm gonna show you now. So if we go back to our action, as you can see, I have predefined uh, three different slides. So this, these are just the images with some text on top. So, you know, typical prototype might line up like this. So let's say you have a few slides. Uh, which basically are stacked vertically and then let's say if we preview and we scroll down we are just gonna have this type of website whatever you know if the content and it's bold and it's great but it's not really that impactful because you as you scroll you have these um, kind of like a static pieces of content of course you could animate them but it doesn't have that motion that effectful meaningful motion as usual it's all down to dynamic panels so i'm gonna go ahead to just drag the first slide right click create dynamic panel and let's call it bg slides let's say or something like that so we remember it and i'm gonna go ahead and just cut the content from the other ones and just add several states so let's say say two is gonna have our second bit And as you can see, all of them are basically overriding each other in the same slideshow like so. And so if I would preview right now, I would just see the first one. Nothing happens really. What we need to do is just to attach the behavior that if I scroll down, the content here changes. So let me show you exactly how we could do that. I'm gonna go ahead, select our object, or like you could attach that behavior to the dynamic panel or outside it, it's up to you. I'm gonna attach it outside and just say, you know, on canvas, if I, let's say, scroll on window scroll down, I'm gonna say set panel state, select our BG slides, and we can say state next. You can also wrap around it so it's gonna loop infinitely, but I don't really wanna do it because I wanna do those three bubbles as from slide framework. This is an example. And we could also animate it in and out. I'm gonna leave it blank for now so you can actually see what's going on before that. And just preview, disable that top bit. And if I scroll down, oh, that was way too quick. Let me do it again. If I scroll down, every scroll just opens different slide so it's really quick and sudden no animations here we don't really want that and i'm just gonna go ahead and just copy this behavior but instead of uh scrolling down i want to scroll up so that we have uh, another behavior bit if we scroll back up because otherwise we would just be stuck down below in the third bit like so and instead of next i'm gonna select previous and now it's gonna go up and then it's gonna animate different state in. First, what I'm gonna do is just change our background color to black or dark gray so that when it fades out, it do, it's not like going to white, it's gonna go to darker color first. And I'm gonna go back in interactions and just edit that effect. So animating in, we know that we want to slide down. Um, a mess is a bit tricky and animating out is fading out. So we animate and slide down, animating out is fading out, and we maybe can do like 600 ms. We need to test it, it's again, experiment and test, that's the most important bit. 
And if I scroll down, it's way too quick, right? We could make it maybe double the size, so it's over a second. That's bold move, but let's see if that works. That's a bit too slow, but boom, it does work. Again, it's up to you what speed you want to maintain. I want to maybe go in the middle between the two. I like how smooth it is right now. But I think it also is a bit too sudden, right? And if I go back, it's too static. So we need to address the same effect for both. Animating in is going to maybe actually let's reverse. So it's, we're going to slide it down. And animating out is going to be the fade again. Like so. Previewing again. Always preview your things. If I scroll down, one, two. If I scroll back up, woof, that was sudden. Scroll down, that second, that's the first one. Looks pretty good. It, it's not too bad. Might as well keep it for now at least. You know, you can always play with it. There's so many options in Axure. So we achieved most of it. The only bit what's missing is the bubble. What Slides Framework had is three bubbles. I'm gonna place it on the left instead so it's clear. As a user, you constantly see it. I'm just gonna make those three bubbles. We don't need no border. Let the mofo go away. And I'm gonna add three of them like so, let's say. Create dynamic panel. And let's make it bubbles, boom. Inside it, let, we can make the two, let's say, be transparent. And the, the active one is gonna be a solid one. So that's state one, then state two, and same for the third one. Boom. And now we did our bubbles, but we're not gonna be active. So we need to attach the change effect for them as well. Again, going back to interactions out of uh, our board, and we can actually just add another target. So we add actions, set panel state, choose bubbles, and we set next state and select OK. It doesn't have to be that complicated like with the slides. And that's previous. So I just copied it in and just selected different instead of next previous. And let's preview. Let's see what how this goes. We have these three bubbles. If we slide, the bubbles change as well. It's pretty good. And then we can also make it clickable too if you want to. In this case, we can actually make, I'm just gonna add uh, the hotspot on top, set interaction on click, and I'm just gonna go back and just copy these statements so I can just edit them easily, like so. And set panel state, instead of next, I'm just gonna select first, because we know that's the case. And here is also the first state. And then just copy the hotspot with that behavior across to the different things so they are clickable. Just add it to the state two, quite simply. Boom, done, done, done. Let's preview. As you can see, I can either scroll and change it or I can click and change it. So that, now we made our slides happen. And it's pretty good. We could also go ahead and just use our ideas of animating the text in. And if you don't remember, I'm just gonna show it on one slide. You can just replicate it in, in deeper levels if you want to. I'm gonna go ahead and just make dynamic panels for each of these bad boys, like so. And just give it, let's say, um, subtitle two, so it's two, and then let's see, this is headline one, so headline one, or actually headline two because it's the second slide, it's up to you how you name it. And I'm just gonna set it hidden, like so. And now every time we scroll down, I'm gonna make them appear. So I'm gonna go back to our behavior. I would just go ahead and insert action, just as we scroll down, and then just show let's say h1 which is at the moment invisible and we can let's say fade it in or slide down i would maybe like even like slide right maybe something like 900 or so or maybe even a delay between that so maybe a thousand and then do the same for the second one which is our sub headline so s2 i think yes 
and slide right again, but this one just slower. If I scroll down, boom, as you can see, it was too sudden. So maybe we can even add like a waiting game. So wait, 400 ms or so. No rush here. And then we're gonna slide them in or we can actually even, let's say fade them in. That would work too. Uh, show, slide right. I'm gonna do fade. Again, play whatever you want to achieve, you're gonna achieve. Boom, if I scroll down, the text appears slowly. Simple as that. As you can see, the text is now visible, but you could go ahead and just make it as complex as you want. But our slides framework works pretty well in this case. If you have assets prepared, you can just take five minutes and it's done. So I hope as usual it was helpful. If so, give a like, share with your friends, and as per usual, stay tuned for more material.